right into it. As long as everything didn't break. We're going to talk about Doom. Now, we're going to start with Doom. I'm a huge fan of Doom. Let me test the chat. There it works. Okay. <laughs> I'm a big fan of Doom from back in the day. This is a card. Get out of my hand. I loved it. It's one of my first memories is playing Doom. And the the thing about this game is I I went through waves of like really enjoying it and then being like, uh really? My only my first off the top advice for Doom is to play it over several days. I ended up playing a lot of this in like three sessions, more or less. And I found huge chat delay. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of delay. Um, well, the chat, you have a chat right there. <laughs> so I recommend playing a level or two and then taking a break because it does start to become not monotonous, but it's just constantly fighting. And constantly zombies and, and monsters and shit flying around. And that's fine. And that's really good. And there's a, there's a lot of really good shit here. So we'll start with the good stuff. All of the weapons. There are very few games where I can say every weapon here is good and fun and interesting and <laughs> useful. And they have all these alternate abilities too to where, oh, hold down L and it does this charge shot or does... Uh, fires a, a grenade type of thing. That's awesome. I also love the the grenades are on a re uh, a cooldown timer, which is very handy. I love. I want more games to do that. I don't know why they don't. I don't want to find grenades. I'm fine with finding ammo. It's a weird thing. But all the weapons are great. The I mean, from the mini, they're all classic Doom weapons. The mini gun, rocket launcher, all the fucking pulse beam thing that I forget the name of constantly. It doesn't make the cool sound that it used to in the Doom. Like, but yeah, it's it's been there, been there, done that. That's that's very true, and that's why I'd say you take your time with it because you play a couple levels, you're like, this is really cool, this is really cool, fighting demons, and then you stop, kind of like a cleanser palette, and then come back the next day because I, I I'll be honest with you, I played the last five or so levels yesterday. And it's awesome, and there's great moments, and all right, I'm fighting another guy. It's very it's very predictable. It's very old school in the sense of, okay, here's a room, and you're going to go into it, and you're going to fight things. And it's great. And it's an awesome arena. Things are, like, you're constantly moving. It's so good at that. There's fireballs coming at you, giant flying things. You're jumping over shit. Kill this guy. Okay, chainsaw that guy. Shoot this guy with the, the BFG. Then jump around here. I got a jump pad. Okay, there's a quad damage thing over here. If I get that, then you... All this stuff going on, and that's amazing, but there's so much of it. And it never really, actually the beginning of the game I think does a better job of pacing. It's kind of a slower paced thing, because you don't have as many weapons and all this shit. It ends up having, not necessarily a survival horror vibe, but just a slower, more methodical vibe, that the chaos at the end of the game doesn't, really get you. And it's not that the end of the game is bad, it's just there's so much of it. There's so much of it. It, it. it begins to become like, okay, I like this, but okay, now we're in hell again. And now we're not in hell. And it's beautiful. And then we're over here. Okay. And then now we're over there. Alright. Like, and it does this fucking cool thing where you're in a, a cold environment, but then it doesn't do anything with it. Like, oh, we're finally in a new place. It's not it's not hell, it's not Mars, it's not indoor industrial factory facility thing. It's snowy place. And then you don't fight anyone there. Like I thought it was gonna do, it was gonna pull some rug out from under me and be some interesting snowy thing. Nah. Nah. But at the same time, enough can't be said about how good the combat is and how good it feels and how punching things in the face like that never gets old. Uh, there is no regenerating health, so you have to do that to regain health. That's great. Finding secrets is awesome, but a little bit too much. You end up spending a lot of the time in the map. Uh, maybe a mini map on the side would have been a nice addition, because constantly I'm like, okay, I need to go over here. Where was over there? Uh, there were some times towards the end of the game where 
I didn't know where to go. And the answer to where to go was like in this in this room that was lit up, but I happened to miss, and then the checkpoint little guide arrow didn't tell me to go over there. It told me to go over here, which is where that would teleport me to. Which I guess is my own fault for not being able to see things, but it, it just it, in certain ways like that, it, it just was very old. You'll be going if you if you beat a bunch of guys, right? They're not going to respawn. And you can basically retread the entire map for the most part for all these levels. So you're going to be going back and, oh, well, there's a secret over here. Let me look around. Let me poke around. And there's nothing over there now. So you're just jumping and running around. And it kind of does, it kind of does, it does some old shit too, where if you fall off a ledge and you die, you have to reload the entire thing, which is inconvenient. And it doesn't take very long. I'm playing on PC. It doesn't take that long, but it's still, in a world where I can die in an in Uncharted 4, for instance, and I'm I'm back in it, right? This is very much not like that, and the checkpoint system uh, saves your progress in terms of a checkpoint is after you beat the area, not necessarily where you found an item. So if you find a collectible and then die, you're going to start at the checkpoint after the last battle but you already collected that collectible. It's a very weird and, and kind of old school ideal with that. But finding all the secrets is great. I only found two of the classic, I don't know why this air quotes, they are classic Doom levels. And those are, I couldn't help but play those and feel like I'd rather just play the original Doom with these controls. That was That was like kind of my takeaway from it was the aesthetic there is, is a lot more interesting. And seeing the enemies in their modern 3D impressiveness in the old setting was awesome. I think they look better. So much of this game is in a dark or weird color palette to where you can't appreciate what these enemies look like. Like the pinky, weird little pink monster guy doesn't really look that pink and, and isn't that exciting and then they turn invisible towards the end of the game and they're not really that invisible and I could have used the enemies looking more like their old school selves if that makes any sense or if anyone even cares about that besides me like the cyber demon and stuff like that I why don't why doesn't he look more like he did and it comes down to the lighting. It's so dark that you can't really see some of these things, and it's so fast that you can't focus on it. Even the giant things that I forget the name of, the red, the giant red skull thing that just shoot balls at you, demon balls at you. I don't know if that's really that. It, it, it's oh, it's that, it's that monster. You get that initial thing of oh shit, it's that thing. But it doesn't really look like it. It doesn't make the same noises. And maybe it, it shouldn't. Maybe it shouldn't. But I, I couldn't help but feel kind of like, cool. This is cool. And it's really good. And it is really good. But it's like, it's like right there. I just wanted it to go a little further, a little more modern with the level design or how some things, like this is an example of, oh, there's a collectible over there. Now, how the fuck do I go over there and get it? And the collectibles, I mean, maybe I went too overboard with it, and it would have been more fun to not find the collectibles, but then the collectibles will give you rewards, so you get these points to spend on upgrading your weapons or your suit. So you want to find all the collectibles. There's a big incentive on it, and there's a, there's a lot going on with that, but so many times I was like okay that's way the hell over there I have to walk back through this entire environment I'm jumping all around the game does a really good job for the most part of showing you where you can go so it'll have this kind of green glow around things you can jump on or green lights so it guides you and it does a very good job at that See, the, you can see the green lights right there at the same time though Sometimes it doesn't, and more particularly for the secrets, some of these levers you need to pull for secrets to open up are so dark 
that it's it's unbelievable to me just how dark it is like there's there's a there's certain levers to open up the two old doom levels i found were these levers that were hidden out of sight in dark alcoves that i i missed even though i walked by several times and i guess that's the point of a secret but at the same time you're revisiting doom you're bringing it back to where it was I want to see those old things. I want to see the old levels. That's why I'm playing this. Is to get all that get all that nostalgia, but it's hidden away. And I, I don't know. It, it I just didn't feel right with the secrets. It didn't feel right to me. There's too many of them maybe. They're all over the place. There's, oh, there's challenges, there's those rune challenges which are cool, but I don't know why the game needs to load and then that's to reload every time you fail the challenge, which is likely, especially the later ones. And the challenges are fine, but they're very basic. And they unlock, see that's, that's the tons of shit, I'll forget. They unlock runes that change what you're doing. So like, oh, you'll collect more health, or the little vacuum of the pickups is a larger vacuum. That's like the first one. And so those are, those are hidden too. All those uh, rune challenges, trials I think they're called, are hidden around the world but because they offer you these little runes you want to find them so you spend half your time looking at the mini map and figuring like okay I missed one over here I gotta go back and jump over and the map isn't the map is kind of all over the place on like this is a simple map this is the first level so it's not as crazy but they get kind of like multiple levels and then card keys and you're trying to remember where you were on the map, the map is constantly spinning. Like it, it doesn't orient to north and just stay there every time you pop it up. It, it orients to some other, maybe it's where you're facing. So the map is rotated differently each time you open it and you're all over the place. And these are dumb shit problems in a game that really nails the combat and the feel and the weapon alternate abilities and you're upgrading things and you're the, the ambiance of a lot of these levels is great. It, it really is great. Stuff that happens with it, very, very cool and interesting. But it, it's, it's very much how I loved The Witness, but it just had enough like pulling back at me of like, why are some of these puzzles so stupid? Why is this, the game's too obtuse for its own good. It, it could have been better if it actually just explained the rules and expanded upon them and, and spoke to you and treated you like a person and not like an outsider that it wanted to leave the game. That's my complaint to get the witness. So I have a similar nagging things against Doom, even though I, I really enjoyed my time with it and I wish I, I could have done it in played it over a longer period and kind of slowed it down and enjoyed it a bit more, but it just does feel old. And not not always in a bad way. A lot of times in a good way, but it very much just is. It, it is unabashedly what it is, and it's very confident in that fact, and that's fine. But I do think a little more creativity or a little more bringing it to today, besides the visuals and the upgrade uh, trees and stuff, could have been beneficial. It, this would have been very interesting in in terms of I, I, it reminds me of Bioshock in a way, or Bioshock Infinite, where they're levels, right? But they're large levels, and you're, and you're kind of going through them. It, it feels, actually, now that I think about it, it really does feel like Bioshock, uh, in terms of like the little upgrade things you find and all that. It really is, huh? I never thought about it. It actually borrows a lot from Bioshock. Um, <laughs> that's interesting. But Bioshock had this whole cool story and these interesting powers and stuff going on too. It added, it added more to it. And this just feels like, all right, you got all your classic weapons. Now you can do crazy gore kills. The story is completely forgettable, but in like, it knows it's forgettable and it's just doing like, you're on, you're in Mars and you're doing crazy shit. Okay, good. There's an AI man. All right. It has fun with it and it, it doesn't get bogged down with trying to be cool or impressive or or um, hoity-toity, I guess, with its story. 
that's not a good way to describe it, but whatever. It, it's good. It's really good, but there, there's a lot of potential here, I feel, for growth. And for, god damn it, don't put all that shit on the map. Give me some kind of maybe a compass on the bottom that just tells me, oh, there's a collectible this direction. And then I can search for it myself. I know it's in that direction. And if I need the map, I'll pop up the map or put the map on the screen or make that be a button. There's also, oh, I completely forgot. There's other grenades you get throughout the game, but I completely forgot they existed. I don't even remember what they do. <laughs> just stick with the frag grenade. I will give a lot of credit, too, for you have to use all the weapons. You really do. You're going to run out of ammo. You're going to get overwhelmed. You need to use the, the BFG. You need to use the chainsaw. You need to use all these things. And, and that's awesome. That's something a lot of games don't do. Actually, specifically going back to Bioshock, you you can't. In, in a game like Bioshock, oh, I'll just stick with this weapon. Or, oh, I ran out of ammo. I'll change to the way one other weapon that I care about. But with this, you're going to need to change. And they're all viable. Uh, except for I didn't use some of them as often as others, but towards the end of the game, it was like I'm revisiting these weapons. Like, oh, let's let's play with this because they're all they're all kind of worth it. And the game's more about it's not about cover necessarily. It's about dodging and maneuvering in a way that that we don't play games like that anymore. It does take a little bit getting used to. The controls are very fast and fluid, and, and to a, a point where it's like you're zipping and zooming all all around, and it's very fast. Very fast. In a great way. It's great. I don't know. I'm very torn. But I love Doom. And it is great. I think really enjoy my time. And I'll probably go back and find more of the classic maps and stuff. But it's just like... I think we could have had more here. I think... I think it kind of got in its, its own way a little bit. But maybe not. Maybe maybe as I think about it more... I won't, I won't be so bad on it, but... You know, there's, uh, there's upgrade. There's a lot of stuff going on here, but I don't know how necessary it is. It is interesting. There are points to spend. And by, sometimes I had 30, 40 points to spend because it, by the end, there's just a lot of points. I don't know. It's good. It's, it's Doom. If you like, you know if you want to play this or not. You don't need me. No one's watching this and being like, oh, I guess I'll play Doom now. You know if you want it or not. It's very Doom. You want Doom? Here you go. Here's Doom. If you didn't like Doom before, you're probably not super into it. Probably not going to be amazed by it. it. It really is like, oh shit, that's that enemy. Oh, I remember that. But there was something about the original and Doom 2 that had a, a better vibe. Maybe it was the noises or the sound or just the time that I, I feel this game loses the benefit of. Of being so modern and it kind of those things don't fit anymore so I can't have them and it maybe I just want Doom 2 maybe that's the answer to this I just want Doom 2 that's probably what it is it is fun to punch people and oh man that is fun that is very enjoyable I recommend stomping people 